Hey guys, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan and welcome to yet another advanced Java Chess Engine tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to wrap up the loose ends in our UCI protocol as well as actually connect it to a program like Arena. And I'll be showing you how to connect it to Arena. If you're using a different GUI, feel free to, but you're, a little, you're on your own as far as the specifics of how to connect it. So let's get started here. Uh, first for a few changes that I've made to the code, feel free as always to download it from the description below so that we're both using the identical code. Here I've added in our input go uh, this little phrase best move because the UCI protocol says that uh, for instance right here you're supposed to say best move followed by the move so that the engine knows you've made your final decision, basically. And that's just the rules of the uh, UCI protocol. And then we all, I also made modifications to the move to algebra, so that instead of just accepting regular moves, it can now deal with special cases like empathons and promotions. So it just gets these start and end values, and that is pretty much copied from the algebra to move method which grabs the identical start and end. And based on those, it turns it into algebraic notation. Now you'll notice according to the UCI protocol, if we look right here on the move format, a castle move would be E1 to G1. So it is just from starting location to end location. I don't need any special notation for castling uh, the same goes for en passant, but however, for promotions, I need to indicate what I am promoting to. And so a fifth character needs to be added to the string, which is a lowercase letter, uh, a Q, an R, an N, or a B. So what I've had to do is, if it is upon promotion, I have this string called append. And I actually don't have to initialize it up there, I think. All right, and what I do is I set append to be the lowercase of whatever character or piece type it is promoting to. And then I just add it to append. Now it realizes, ah, that's right. I do need to initialize it because it might not uh, uh, go under this if statement. So. It just adds that little append promotion type, I could call it, and that should fix it. Um, I haven't actually tested if this works, but it should. Uh, I also made a few other modifications. Uh, one of them that I remember was that this scanner input used to be inside the while loop. So every time the while loop went around, a new scanner input had to be set up, and that's just... Uh, uh, bad taste in the programming and obviously it should be out here as well as I noticed that if you were calling things very quickly in quick succession to this engine it might be in the middle of this line right here and therefore there would be no input scanner created yet and therefore it wouldn't receive all of the inputs and so in the off chance that this would be a problem, I just put it out there. So that is pretty much all, and it should hopefully work. If we run it, I'll just show you here. I can say position and uh, start position. If I hit print, it should show me the starting. Good. Uh, if I say go, it would give me a best move, h2 to h3, which is a valid move. If I hit quit, it would end the program. So that is working correctly. So what we're going to do is we click the clean and build project. And as long as there are no errors, we should be good. All right, it's been built. now. The location is specified in the output here. So I'm just going to copy this 
and open up a folder and I think I'm already in the right folder. Yes. Now we go to that folder where this jar file was created. Now if you were to double click on a jar file, you'd see a little command prompt flash up, but then close. Now this is very anticlimactic. And uh, it will work in Arena 3.5. However, if you have Arena 3 or some other program in which the user interface does not is not able to deal with jar files, then follow the rest of my tutorial and I'll explain how. But for now I'm just going to look at the window at the Arena 3.5 because it works so nicely with jar files. So what we go is to engines and then manage. You can also press F11. Then we're going to go to details and click new to create a new engine. Then what we do is we locate the file. So we go to the location and instead of executables we pick Java jar files. Alright, we select it, we click open, we set it to be a UCI and that should be good. If I hit uh, OK, we should have an, the engine. So if I go back into manage, it sets the type to auto detect. We don't want that. So for some reason, even though we told it it was a UCI, I find the Arena 3.5 puts it back on auto detect. So select again UCI and hit OK. And now it should be permanent. Now that's all there was. The engine is just instantly installed. And the beauty of it is, if we were to update our engine with some new code or whatever, we would just build and clean, then we open Arena, and since it's accessing the same file, and since compiling it stored it in the same place, we are now running the new engine. So it's really, really easy for updates and things like that. So now what we want to do is load the engine. So we go to engines, might have done that too quickly, and then load engine, second from the top. And then we select the engine that we've just created, which was called Orion in this case. And you can rename them however you want under the engines manage uh, window. And then we hit OK. Now Orion appears down here. And it should start up in just a matter of seconds, hopefully. Now, if we hit this little gear symbol, it will ask the engine for a move. And the best move was H2, H4, H3, sorry. Now, if we press F4, or if we go under engine's log window, we can see the output. We see that we received UCI, then we told it our name, the author and said you say okay then we said then the uh, arena said is ready we replied ready okay and you can see all the way down till it said go and we returned a best move which is really just a random move that we found to be legal now if we hit this demo button or first the analyze button in arena the analyze comes up with a best move but doesn't make the move in the demo, what it does is it makes, it finds the best move, makes it, and repeats the process over and over. So it plays against itself, basically. So if I hit this, you can see a quick succession of moves here. Now what I'm expecting is, although our engine should never be making illegal moves, we see some illegal move was just made. Now why is this? And the reason is we're just picking a random move. And if we hit F4, we can see what move it decided to make. It selected D2, C4. So if we look at uh, D2, which is this knight, to C4, which obviously puts the, its own king in check. So it is an illegal move, but we can't actually fault our engine because it is only... When we so, say go, it only looks at all the moves. It doesn't check for legality. It just looks at them and picks a random move. And in this case, it happened to pick an illegal move. So if we actually just let it think a few more times, uh, it would play 
a different game. But here again, illegal because it's thinking of moving all these other pieces and not the king. So we have a few things to adjust. Now for those of you who are using Arena 3 or older or some other graphical user interface that doesn't input jar files as engines, here's how you deal with that. Uh, what I, re I would recommend using is uh, this program right here. It's called Launch4j. You can just do a Google search for it. It's a free program. There's uh, no buying, uh, unlimited use of this thing. And what it does is it takes the Java file and it puts it in an executable so that when you click on the executable, the jar file inside it starts running. So we say that it wraps the jar file. So let me give you an example. Here we have to set to the output file which I usually put in the same location as the original jar file. And then what we do is we have to set, let's see, the header to console. I think normally it's on GUI. And then we have to set the GRE, the Java Runtime Environment, and have the min version as 1.0.0. And I think that's all the modifications you have to make to the default settings. Then you hit this gear thing, and usually it'll ask you to save the configurations you made. I just save it to documents, and then it will quickly build this little engine. Let's see if it worked. It successfully wrapped it. So if we look back at this folder where our jar file was, now we see we have an orion.exe. Now if we double click it, it actually opens a command prompt that stays open. And if we said uh, print, you can see that it obviously, we haven't initialized the board, but it obviously is working and using this jar file inside of it. So if we now put that engine in, we can now manage new and pick an exe. And all GUI should accept exes. So it renames it as a UCI. And if for some reason, I always have to go back and change it from auto detect to UCI. All right. And now if we load this one, this exe one, it should work the same way. Yes, it seems to be working equally well, but it's in an exe format. So you can even do this even though Arena 3.5 has jar capabilities and if you're distributing your program for others it would be very nice if they could have it in an executable format. So that is basically how we connect our engine to Arena. Congratulations on successfully getting this far. Until next time, enjoy chess.